This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razi Alke and I'm back with another toy review and today... Uh, okay, Legacy Velocitron Speedia 500 collection. <laughs> Robots in disguise, 2000 Scourge, you know, 2000 Universe Scourge. It's, you know, just Scourge would have been fine. Uh, I skipped out on Laser Prime because I have no attachment to Laser Prime, but I really wanted to have uh, Scourge because uh, I did watch R.I.D. back then. Um, it was a different type of show for sure. Uh, the uh, animation was fun. Uh, they had the train bots and it was like Predacons with Decepticons and Autobots and Optimus as a fire truck. You know, it was really different from what we had in the past and I rather enjoy that. Um, I can't recall all the characters and everything, but it wasn't that, uh, you know, it, it wasn't the greatest show, but it wasn't the worst. Uh, but I definitely wanted to have uh, this guy because I saw a couple review of Laser Prime and I really enjoyed the uh, the mold. So I said, yeah, why not, you know, get this one. So, And I couldn't find him in store anywhere. My dad happened to drive by a Walmart that's eight hours up north where uh, I was born. Uh, part of Quebec yeah, up north and uh, he was visiting family I'm like hey why don't you stop at Walmart see if you can find Cosmos and uh, this guy and he did so because I never saw it in stores still to this day he got this in August and kept it for my Christmas gift and uh, that's it. It, it it never showed up anywhere in uh, in stores uh, in my area um, near Ottawa so you know it it's it, it sucks distribution sucks I have to say and you know uh, every, everybody was blaming COVID it's really not COVID it's Walmart in my area just not stocking properly so you know or maybe there's a lot of scalpers and I know there's a couple of them so before I take a look at this guy uh, check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel something I'm very proud of and also check out DJC Collectibles my sponsor the fantastic online store and at the end of the video you can get your 10% discount code now let's roll the intro of your destruction! Scourge! Transform! Alright, here we are with R.I.D. Scourge. This is how I'll refer to him now because it's too long. Let's take, uh, let's move this on the side for a second. Take a look at the box, which is huge. But it's way sturdier than Galaxy Shuttle. Galaxy Shuttle was this... It's not even cardboard. It's, it, it, it was like super thin, you know, or very thick paper. But it was super flimsy. This one is still sturdy. Uh, so you have the product... Well, the artwork. It looks a lot like a product shot. But it's really good. And then you have the different modes. You have the base mode here. And then you have the full truck 30 steps sounds about right and the figure my camera is too close to the stage to be able to properly show this box but we're not here for boxes uh, let's move this around a little bit uh, scourge the accessory so the accessory as I understand it are the same that we got with uh, laser prime and I don't really like this you know I don't know what kind of gimmick they were going for when they came up with that. Uh, it's... I don't know. I just don't feel like it works. Um, I mean, the colors are nice. It's translucent. But an axe, a sword... I don't know. It's it's just not my cup of tea. Uh, the trailer... I already have the Toy Axe decals for this. I am going to do a separate review for that. But he looks good. I like the trailer. I like what uh, you can do with it. Uh, it's missing uh, paint, but Toy Hacks uh, will fix that. And, uh, you know, he rolls pretty good. Uh, the stand is 
easy to operate. And yeah, it transformed into a base, which uh, I will show uh, up next or soon enough. And then the figure, I was thoroughly impressed with the figure because I was expecting Earthrise Prime with shoulder pad or, you know, Siege Nemesis Prime with shoulder pads. This is completely different. There's some parts that are similar, but for, for the most part, it's, it's pretty unique. A very nice, uh, different mold. And uh, it's a, it's even a new head sculpt with the light piping. I don't know if you can see the light piping properly. Uh, no, not like this. I can't really show the light piping because my setup, well, a little bit. But my setup isn't the greatest for that. So anyway, but uh, it does work when you uh, apply proper light at the proper spot. And um, I like the, uh, the option that you have for the... Uh, you know missiles or you know cluster grenade whatever you want to call this looks good clear plastic though so I don't know how long that's gonna stay uh, uncracked like this and hopefully you won't have any uh, stress marks but it looks really good and I like uh, the new head sculpt I like the the whole figure I mean yeah the 80s woman shoulder pad on top it kind of looks goofy but he looks the part the colors are nice, and yes, I know it's it should be gray if you want to really have a scourge, but I really don't see the uh, the problem here. Looks really good. Uh, you have the back of the legs, of course. Hasbro waffles, you know, can't uh, have a figure without this. And the backpack, he's not back heavy because he has some good heels, you know, so it's not a problem. And this uh, is fixed there, so it's not loose. I really like it. Uh, if you want to see, well, we'll do the articulation, then I'll do some comparison. So articulation, you don't have, because of the shoulder pads, you don't have a full rotation. If you move it out of the way, you can get your Ferris wheel on nice ratchet. Um, so you saw the articulation, this goes you know, left, right. The head is on a ball joint, and it's all, you know, because of the light piping, it's all clear plastic in the back. And then you have the, well, no, that doesn't count, but look up. Just look down a little bit. That's about it. You do have the 90 degree band for the elbow. You have a hand rotation. I have to say the hands, they look smaller than the other mold. I'll have to do a quick comparison. You have a merry-go-round, no problem. And then, can you with this guy? And then, you can do the Johnny Cage. No problem. Fantastic. You have a rotation under the crotch. Uh, he can kick forward. Kick back. Oh, very nice kickback. 90 degree, more than 90 degree band. Is there a rotation at the knee? No. You have the ankle tilt. And you have, well, because of transformation, you have, you know, flexibility of the toes and the heel. It looks really good. Let's do some, I think, important comparison. Uh, this might be a longer review than I expected, but I really want to do this guy justice. So give me a quick second. Let me go get Nemesis Prime and Optimus Prime. So we messed up their tunnel. Now what? Now you start some trouble. When the Autobots use their tunnel again, we've got them. Yes, sir. All right, side by side. Earthrise Prime, Legacy Scourge, and um, while well, this is the Netflix spoiler pack, Nemesis Prime. So right off the bat, you can see it's different legs. Uh, you know, on these two, it's similar legs, uh, but they have a different transformation uh, in the back. And with it's, uh, it appears to be all these three bots, the same toe. I do believe if we rotate like this, you have, well, no, it's not the same tire. I mean, the tire, yes, but the rims, no. Different rims. Here, well, it, it, they're hidden, but it's a different, this is a plastic uh, wheel, it's like one piece. This looks to be uh, a two piece set, so. Uh, so, different wheel. Uh, the stack, not the stack, the tank, 
that looks to be hold on yeah that's the same so it's the same tank okay uh, this one well it doesn't have anything so the fuel tanks are the same uh, the articulation inside the legs is the same the leg piece here is the same uh, but not him him it's a different leg piece uh, the front grill well, on the front the crotch area hold on uh, all right Earthrise and him have the same crotch area uh, different mold here for the uh, it's a u-shape and here it was like three different piece so that's different the hands are so closed hands uh, semi closed hands and I'm right they're smaller a little bit smaller than this one and then of course uh, this Earthrise Prime had movable hands so a different uh, hand altogether uh, the forearm is different the uh, he doesn't have the show the big square shoulder here he has them here so that's all different and then uh, all of these three chests are different uh, they look to have a similar one but they're actually different from here to here and this as well this is smaller with a little more details this is a five pack and this looks like to be a, i don't know seven and so very different and then his matrix will pop up like this um his matrix will well he doesn't have one which makes sense because in the show he was looking for the matrix and the other thing and then this one here uh is matrix you have to go get from underneath there you go i don't know why he has a matrix though i don't recall that from the show uh, but it's been over 20 years now and then the head sculpt is completely different on all three of them. Well, I mean, these are the same head sculpt. Because uh, he has the Earthrise head sculpt. I think that uh, the actual Siege version was different. Uh, but this is a brand new head sculpt. And from the back, well, they're all different. Uh, well, okay, the front, uh, for these two, they, they had the same front. Uh, but they, did, they have a different back. And then this is all new new waffles. Same heel on all of them. So I think that covers everything for the similitudes between these uh, characters. I'm going to do the transformation. Decepticons, switch to maximum firepower. Before I show you the cab, uh, this is what you can do with the trailer, little base. Uh, it stores the weapon on the sides uh, here. And then basically it just split opens. There's a little ramp here uh, there's no roller to go with it you do have this piece here with a claw um, to grab things doesn't have well i mean it does have this full set of motion like a complete 360 so looks good and then you have a cannon also on top uh, which uh, you can separate this part here to add it to the robot mode if you want to Give him an extra gun. So I mean, there's more playability with this than there is with the Earthrise trailer. That's for sure. So all right, let's uh, go for the uh, the cabs. I gotta get out of here. He's getting away. No, he's not. And here we are with Scourge and all of his evil glory. Uh, he looks really good. And I have to say that um, you know, for us, G Warner Optimus Prime will always be the flat nose truck. That's what we relate to. But for uh, you know, younger kids and any kids who have never watched Transformers and they see a, a, a truck, um, they're going to think of this because this is a very common look. My uncle drove stuff like that. So, you know, it's, uh, I actually sat in those things doing... Uh, he had no right to bring me along on some of these rides, but he still did and it was tons of fun. Uh, so I'm just going to remove the trailer and this looks really good. I I love the transformation of this thing because it's completely different than what we got from Earthrise and Siege. Uh, there is still some parts that are constant. One thing that's constant on every model of Prime is these things here. Every version had it, and it's just to hide more of the robot part. But this one actually, the peg, the pegs are used for something. Uh, you know, they go under the arms here. Similar to what Earthrise did, um, but Siege really didn't have any use for it. 
so it's just a you know cover more uh, the fuel tanks are still loose my earth rise one won't uh, won't stand uh, but uh, you know they they're they could have used a little paint uh, hopefully the toy hacks that I have will fix that uh, I love the windows but I'm guessing that's gonna change too uh, a little design on top I mean added value the painted grill in front looks really good and the smokestacks yeah a little short of course but you know you wouldn't want to poke your eye out so there you go the wheels chrome and it's the same back end we've it's the same feet toes heel and everything so but this is uh this is different different look i like that you know i really like this one a lot more than i thought i would uh let's do some side by side with uh his uh you know compatriots and here he is with Earthrise Prime and Netflix Spoiler Pack Nemesis. Um, I thought this was going to remain my favorite because I do like the deco on this one better than I actually do Earthrise Prime. Um, I like the transformation. It's one of my favorite molds. I think this one beats it now. It's really interesting. Sure, there's a bit of a gap in front. You know, you can see a bit of a separation, but not bad i like the hubcaps you know this is a little flat and like i said this is loosey-goosey so i like all that you know three molds three different uh, version of uh prime or nemesis or scourge or whatever you want to call it it's your toy you do what you want with it um, i love those three and they uh they kind of look good together and they all roll fine you know even on this surface it's not super even this one might need a little uh, little help to roll but on you know ca carpet yeah no problem so let me put them back in robot mode and do my final thoughts all right guys so in the end i really really enjoyed the new mold for well laser prime and scourge it's fantastic I mean, they all have their strength. I mean, he's cartoon accurate, even with the, even more with the toy hacks decals. Um, still, my favorite Optimus Prime. Uh, I'm not gonna get another one ever, I think, unless I decide to go Legend and Masterpiece. Uh, this one is my only Nemesis Prime, and I love all the accessory that he came with. And this one, the new mold, the playability of this with the, the base, and then the shoulder cannons here. Uh, maybe not so much the weapon, but everything else looks uh, really good. Uh, all three of them are fantastic. So I'm happy to have this guy in my collection. So there you go. Thanks for watching this, guys. I know it was a longer review because of all the comparison I did. But thanks for sticking uh, to the end. If you did like it, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.